Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the show. My name is Hera Muzaffar and I be the host for the show. Uh, I'm also an alumni. I did MBA and BBA from Bahia University in marketing. Since I left Bahia, it has been an amazing journey. I have worked in different organizations and currently working in HR as deputy manager at Kohinoor Textile Mills. So the two amazing people which we have on our show is uh, Dr. Aves and Usman Rana, and who will be talking about the experiences at Bahia and they have some lovely stories to share with us. How are you, Ji? आई नो कि आप लोग बहुत ही अपने काम में एक्सपर्ट्स हैं एंड बिफोर मूविंग टू द शो आई वुड लाइक अगर आप लोग हमें हल्का सा इंट्रोडक्शन दें कि वट हैव डन फ्रॉम बेहरा यूनिवर्सिटी एंड करंटली आप लोग क्या काम कर रहे हैं श्योर सो आई टेक द लीड माई नेम इज डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अवैस महमूद एंड आई वर्किंग एज द डायरेक्टर इंटरनेशनल ऑफिस एट बेहरा यूनिवर्सिटी क्वालिफिकेशन माई बैचलर्स इज फ्राम द सेम यूनिवर्सिटी आई डिट माई सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग फ्राम बेरिया वे बैक इन टू थाउजेंड वन सो दैट इज वेन आई जॉइंट यूनिवर्सिटी एंड बाई टू थाउजेंड फाइव बाई ग्रेजुएटेड इन यू के एंड देन टू थाउजेंड सेवन आई केम बैक एंड जॉइंट बेरिया यूनिवर्सिटी इन द इंटरनेशनल ऑफिस दैन I'm also part of the faculty here, uh, the business school, the management sciences faculty. Later on, in 2014, uh, once again, uh, I joined Bahia University as a student. So, uh, and this time it was for my PhD studies. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I just recently completed that, uh, oh. almost two three months back. Wow! Congratulations so. on that. So, thank you. Uh, and now, please, about you. Uh, my name is Hafiz Muhammad Usman Rana, mm -hmm. and I'm working as a program director. in business finance at Birmingham City University uh, i did my ms finance uh, from uh, bahia university in in 2015 and then i joined bahia university as a lecturer in finance um after that uh, i went to smb global uh, and worked as a financial analyst mm -hmm. then i got an opportunity uh, uh, and went to uk for phd in finance so i'm doing phd in finance also a lecturer in finance at the same university and now i am uh, currently working as a program director of business finance okay amazing thank you so much and before going on i would like to really thank you guys for taking out time i know jab aap kaam pe hote hain job mein to bada mushkil hota hai waqt nikalna so ek wahi sawal jo hum sab se poochte hain how do you feel coming back to bahria uh <laughs> Maybe a right question for uh, Hafiz Usman Rana. Uh, since Because I worked at this university, so for me, <laughs> I think uh, may not be too relevant. So perhaps Usman <laughs> can shed some light. Uh, first there. of all, uh, thank you so much for inviting me here again, and I feel honored uh, that I have an association with Dr. Avas. So he's uh, uh, very good here. जब मेरा starting थी तो जब uh, मैं इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर हो रहा था सो ही गाइडेड मी अलॉट बिकॉज आई वेंट टू यॉर्क्स एंड जॉन यूनिवर्सिटी थ्रू स्टूडेंट एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम तो उस टाइम जितनी भी गाइडेंस थी वो सर अवैस ही वॉज देयर उसके बाद uh, वही एक टर्निंग पॉइंट था जिसकी वजह से मुझे दोबारा हुआ कि नहीं आई हैव टू डू अ पी एच डी स्पेशली इन द यू के तो उसके बाद अब uh, बहरिया आए हैं अच्छा लग रहा है और uh, ये है कि बहरिया इज़ लाइक अ फैमिली तो जब भी आता हूँ विजिट करता हूँ तो मैं ज़रूर बहरिया जो है ना विजिट करता हूँ दैट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग बिकॉज अभी एक बड़ा नॉल्स टाज है बिकॉज हम एक मैं ये जब मैं आ रही थी आई वाज जस्ट आल्सो थिंकिंग कि जब हम एज अ स्टूडेंट आते बड़ा डिफरेंट होता है बट जब आप एज अ गेस्ट या एज अलमनाए आते तो कहते कहते बड़ा एक यू फील वेरी प्राउड अबाउट इट यू नो बिकॉज हम मार्केट में होते हैं और हमें बड़ी अच्छी एसोसिएशन होती है सो वाई डिड यू चूज बहरिया क्या इंक्लिनेशन थी अम्मा बने का कोई पैशन था या वट वॉज द रीज़न टू चूज बहरिया Right. So, uh, for studies, I chose Beria twice, as I mentioned earlier. Hmm. And I think the uh, reason for selecting Beria for my software engineering was, in 2001, uh, in this region, uh, Beria was the uh, was amongst a few universities which were well known for their computer science and software engineering related education. Or uh, I think at that time we had very limited options as well. But uh, quality was one aspect. Uh, very true ke previous qualification high schooling was also from beria college so there was a bit of inclination already mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. uh, joining an institute which is being run by uh, navy by beria so that was the reason of selecting beria then and uh, for phd i think uh, beria still stands out in terms of research qualification uh, compared to many other educational institutes 
Mm -hmm. And uh, I had uh, being a, an employer of this university, I had the opportunity to interact with the research faculty and all the staff. And so in a way, I knew completely inside out the quality of education which I would be getting if uh, I would do my PhD from here. And uh, I, I remember people uh, interested uh, in alums who wanted to join Berry as a faculty member in the PhD uh, faculty because of the reputation of the PhD program. Mm -hmm. So because of that, uh, in 2014, I felt that this would be a right decision for me to start my PhD here. And then uh, my supervisor, who I selected, was also the reason why I joined Beria for my PhD. Because in Pakistan, my, my study was basically qualitative in nature. And in Pakistan, there are very few people who truly understand uh, the qualitative research. And my supervisor, uh, Professor Dr. Faisal Afta, was uh, one of those individuals. So yes, the reputation of the university, uh, good faculty members, some of the people who were well known in the society Absolutely. and the community was the reason why I chose Bering University. Infrastructure, I think that's also one thing I really wanted to highlight. When you visit different other universities, I don't want to say anything bad about the other institutes. Everybody is obviously having uh, their own limitations and their own focus level. Mm -hmm. But the kind of infrastructure that we saw in Bahia University compared to other educational institutes in Pakistan, uh, I think that was way better. The kind of maintenance which was there, uh, the discipline and so on. But I, I'm sorry, I'm taking more time, but <laughs> parents also uh, have, uh, I think, a uh, strong role to play in terms of your decision, especially at the undergrad level. And when you know that there is an educational institute which is being run by uh, military forces, they know that my child will be disciplined at least. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> they can't bunk classes, yeah, yeah. they can't do all the, obviously they knew very little about what goes around. <laughs> but uh, so based on all these factors, I think Beria stood out as one of the options that I chose for. Okay. So, um, Usman, because you've also, you went abroad, you went to England and uh, through exchange program, what do you think, how challenging it was and what Beharia, what role did Beharia play in that? Beharia ne to bhoj, jis na bhi sir ne baat ki hai, ke totally agree karta hon, ke when I was choosing Beharia University, because I was choosing for the master's degree, mm -hmm. so that, I had this, this, this uh, different approach, because the undergraduate level, pe hota, so different approach hoti, master's level, you have to think about uh, what kind of corporate culture this university uh, has. So, us ki, jis tarah mene fast university mein bhi apply kiya, nast university mein bhi apply kiya. But why choose Bahariya? Because at that moment, inka jo, uh, waise to Bahariya comprehensive university, multi-disciplines, pro mm -hmm. engineering mm -hmm. programs hai, computer science hai. Lekin management sciences mein jo Bahariya top pe thi us time. Or mm -hmm. dusra specially international linkages. Because I wanted to go abroad uh, through Bahariya or uh, after graduating from Bahariya. So this is main reason that international linkages, if you see uh, in, his, in the capital of Pakistan, so uh, Bahia international linkages may the most And you're uh, not saying that because I'm saying No, 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 it's, it's, it's <laughs> not like, uh, you can search it and uh, he has done a great job or uh, his coffee efforts, because it's not an easy uh, to link uh, Bahia in internationally. Because there are a lot of things that come, you have to see their learning outcomes, everything is involved. So this was the main reason why I did it in the Bahia. And after that, when the Bahia gave me the opportunity, I applied it fully and I am here in front of you. That's very interesting yeah. thing and I really commendable to you sir because in Bahia, it was not the first time when I started my university. So I know that the exchange program started and it was a very good university from Bahia. So there were opportunities. Milti thi. So yes I think sir. that's also good for the for the students. Just like a, 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 you know, motivation. Mm -hmm. Mil jaate ki path easy ho jaga, right? Guidance hoti hai. Mm -hmm. So I think both institutes mein thoda sa ham lag kar rahe. Because you know, aur bhi career counseling, I know ki Bahariya mein career counseling bhi hoti hai. You know, so wo bhi ek behter opportunities hoti hai. Is, Isme main ek cheez add karunga career counseling se ki jab main Bahariya mein padha tha, to SNL Financial. Uh, mm -hmm. They have actually visited Bahariya and mm -hmm. they launched uh, an internship program for the first time mm -hmm. in Islamabad. So, I was an intern, first intern from Bahariya University. There were also 
लेकिन वो चीज़ थी कि आपके पीटीसी के साथ पाकिस्तान टोबैको कंपनी हो गई शेल हिलेक्स हो गई कोका कोला हो गई तो इनके साथ डोमेस्टिकली भी बहरिया यूनिवर्सिटी के अच्छे से लिंक की चीज़ें नॉट ओनली इंटरनेशनली अगर आप डोमेस्टिकली देखें तो बहरिया इज़ वेरी लिंक विद दीज काइंड ऑफ बिग जॉइंट्स नहीं दैट्स इंटरेस्ट है हाँ क्योंकि लेजोन हमने इंडस्ट्री के साथ बड़े लिंक किए थे अच्छा ये बहुत सीरियस बात है कुछ फनी बात के हाउ आर यू बोथ एज स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज आपने तो सिर्फ पी एच डी भी की है डिग्री भी कर आप अब यहाँ पे एक फैकल्टी में भी है तो इफ आई टेक यू बैक टू दो टाइम जब आप यहाँ स्टूडेंट थे सो वॉट मेमरीज यू हैव और आप पहले बताएं स्टूडेंट कैसे थे वही और नॉट ही और वेरी वेरी सीरियस पी एच डी पीरियड लेट मी एक्सक्लूड दैट that's uh, uh, at that time you are thinking very scholarly in fact you are not even taken as a student you are a scholar mm-hmm. but uh, as a student bachelor's i think undergrad education that would be the appropriate uh, memories or experiences i can share uh, i think i was uh, I, i was a good student uh, or uh, uh, secondly we had some really good quality uh, faculty to teach us here in the university uh but at the same time uh dekhiye bahriya mein rehte hue i think it's very important that uh, you learn how to be smart and uh, not just street smart <laughs> and uh, as you go uh, along uh, uh managing different affairs uh, while you are organizing various activities on campus while you uh, uh focusing on your academics uh one needs to learn with experiences or i think as a student hum log shayad thode se shaitan the bahut nahi or uh, that sort of helped us out in terms of learning how to be more adjustable in, in any sort of an mm-hmm. environment mm-hmm. and uh, this is something i think uh, which one should learn uh, life is not easy it's not a straight road and uh, for that reason bazukat hum dekhte hain at least uh, because i've been teaching in bahria as well jo thode bahut shaitan hote hain दे आर दे आर बेटर ऑफ वर्स दो ओनली इन टू पॉक्स और इसको शैतानी के परस्पेक्टिव से भी शायद हमें नहीं देखना चाहिए आई थिंक दे आर मोर ओपन टू एक्सपीरियंस सो आई वुड कंसिडर माई सेल्फ एज वन ऑफ दो स्टूडेंट हु वॉज लाइक दैट ओपन टू एक्सपीरियंस नॉट जस्ट सिंपली वर्ड अबाउट स्टरिंग एट द सेम टाइम मेंटेनिंग अ गुड जी पी ए getting engaged in as many co curricular activities mm. as possible mm. or uh, yeah that's pretty much it i think mm. um, so usman so i'm the to- totally totally second uh, the point ki co curricular activities jo hai na that's very important in your uh, while you are studying और सॉफ्ट स्किल्स बिकॉज वी आर मोर फोकसिंग ऑन टेक्निकल स्किल्स बट जो सॉफ्ट स्किल्स बैरियर सिखाती है आपको जिसमें टाइम मैनेजमेंट आ जाता है कि हाउ यू बिहेव इन डिफरेंट सीनारीज तो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई थिंक और दूसरी ये है कि मैं एज अ स्टूडेंट जो था वो एज एन एवरी स्टूडेंट और हर 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 किसी के साथ दोस्ती यानी ये एक एक क्लास का टॉपर है उसके साथ भी दोस्ती है जो क्लास का जो शरारती बच्चा है उसके साथ भी दोस्ती है लेकिन एक जो मेन चीज़ थी कि मैं ट्राई करता था कि आई हैव टू लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम एवरी पर्सन सो दैट्स द मेन थिंग जो आपको सिखाती है लाइफ में अगर एक बच्चा जो नहीं उस ग्रेड नहीं ले रहा उसके अंदर भी कोई ऐसी क्वालिटी है हाँ। कि जो एक्सप्लोर नहीं कर पा रहा माइट भी वो सब्जेक्ट उसके लिए डिफ़िकल्ट हो क्योंकि आजकल हमारे पाकिस्तान में काउंसलिंग उस तरह से नहीं होती हुँ, तो हुँ, बच्चे चूज कर लेते हैं आफ्टर वन ईयर दे थिंक ओ दिस इज़ नॉट माई डिग्री आई हैव टू चेंज माई डिग्री तो कुछ इस तरह के भी सीनैरियोज़ होते हैं लेकिन मेरी कोशिश यही होती थी और स्पेशली टीचर्स के साथ जो था अच्छा रिलेशंस था उन उनके उनसे काफ़ी सीखने को मिला अभी तक सीख रहे हैं अभी तक उनके साथ इन टच हैं जो हमारे पुराने टीचर्स थे जब खान बर की हो गया माजिद अलीम हो गया person is trying to maintain good relationship yeah, with yeah, the yeah. teacher just to probably get good marks good marks yeah. just uh just try to look at from different perspective mm-hmm. that while you doing that you're also learning how to develop good relationship but even when you be exactly yeah, that's good, so uh and these kind of uh, good relationships you have to ultimately maintain at your that's workplace good, yeah. or mm-hmm. whatever job is at your hand mm-hmm. so if you have managed to learn this while being part of a university then there is no harm mm-hmm. in absolutely or uh, any if you talk about the education mm-hmm. so education is what we have to define it education mm-hmm. is the sharing of knowledge mm-hmm. skills yes. okay. attitude yeah. so attitude is very important Bilkul. whether you are a, a teacher or mm-hmm. you are a student mm-hmm. so if you are a good uh, attitude positive attitude strong willingness yeah. so you 
यू कैन से दैट कि यार हाँ मैं इस चीज़ को अचीव कर लूँगा हाँ नेगेटिव होती हैं चीज़ें कुछ लोग आपको कहते भी हैं कि नहीं यू यू आर नॉट कैपेबल फॉर दिस बट यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन यूर थिंग्स सो यू कैन एक्सेप्ट नहीं दैट वेरी राइटली सेड कि एक माइंड सेट के बाद आप सही कह रहे हैं कि हमें और पता है टीचर्स जब इंटरेक्ट करें लर्निंग बड़ी होती है अपने सीनियर से बात करना आई रिमेंबर वेन आई वॉज इन यूनिवर्सिटी सो मैंने तो खैर हर जहाँ का इंटरव्यू भी दिया आई मीन एंड आई टॉक माई टीचर वो उनका नाम मैं भूल रही हूँ तो उन्होंने कहा कि ही गेम मेट अप के है ना यू नीड टू गो टू एवरी इंटरव्यू इट टीचेज यू अबाउट योर ओन सेल्फ हम कहते अच्छे ये जॉब तो मुझे चाहिए नहीं और आई नाउ बिलीव कि हम लोगों ने हर तरह के इंटरव्यू दे के हर तरह की गुफ्तु को कंटिन्यू करके यू लर्न सो टीचर्स आई ग्री प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल सो सिंस यू वर टीचर और आप लोग का पढ़ा भी नहीं यू गाइज आर ऑल्सो टीचिंग सो ये बताएं कि कहीं रिफ्लेक्ट होते ओह ये तो बिल्कुल मेरे जैसा स्टूडेंट है ये मैंने भी हर कहती है कभी ऐसा कोई फीलिंग आती या कहते हैं कि यार वो वाले बच्चे अच्छे थे और आपके बड़े चैलेंजिंग क्या फील होता है I I think uh, this this thing just simply goes on that you would always think that the students uh, which were in your time were the best and uh, being associated with this uni- university for the last 20 years first as student and now even as an employee hmm. I've seen that uh, regardless of the fact whatever batch you were from you always think that the students in your batch were the best but yes at times when you're interacting with students you're teaching them uh you can see a bit of reflection of uh, uh yourself in them or uh, which is fine i think as student everybody is same or uh, this is something which uh, sorry once again bringing phd into it even if you're a phd student or a scholar uh you might be a faculty member or a senior person working in the industry mm. but once you're in the classroom i've seen people would behave as a student so uh you you may be at times skipping assignments you may have not been able to uh, do a certain work the teacher asked you to do uh even as a very senior individual uh, studying in a phd program so uh ek student psyche to common hai regardless of the mm, fact bilkul. whatever level you are at mm-hmm. uh, but there might be some cases and some people who would uh, remind you uh, about your time uh, like and i think aajkal ke jo bacche hain they um, they are all good mm. uh, so i won't repeat the same thing which uh, they are generally good uh, but uh, there are few who are inclined towards uh, other than classroom uh, based learning mm-hmm. uh, they i think they are a bit too busy and so many other activities they might be pursuing but within the university uh, all the other opportunities which are there Uh, i see uh, this number is not rising in the same proportion it might be rising in terms of numbers but not in the same proportion uh, versus the number of students uh, who are there so students uh, because of the non availability of time i think they are just trying to focus strictly on uh, what is in the classroom and uh, how they can get good grades and ultimately their degree mm. and this is something hopefully that would change that's my take on it dusri baat ye hai ki डिस्ट्रेक्शन भी बहुत आ गई ना हाँ, तो अब कोविड की सिचुएशन की वजह से तो सा, सारी चीज़ें चेंज हो गई दूसरा ये है कि जब हम स्टूडेंट थे तो हमारा माइंड सेट डिफरेंट था लेकिन जब टीचर बने तो हमने कहा कि नहीं हर बच्चा एक टैलेंट है उसके अंदर वो प्रेशियस है अपना उसका एक माइंड सेट है बस बींग अ टीचर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कि उसको किस तरह आपने टैकल करना है और उसकी क्या एक अच्छा टैलेंट है जो आप आगे ले आ सकते हैं तो मेरे ख्याल से इसमें जो टीचर्स हैं उनका बड़ा किरदार होता है जो आ, हमेशा से मेरे साथ रहा है अब आ, जो बाकी हैं अगर उनके साथ नहीं रहा तो उनको खुद एफर्ट करनी पड़ेगी क्योंकि वो कहते हैं ना कि आप कुएं के पास नहीं जाते प्यासा को कौवा जो है वो जाता है तो आपको खुद जाना पड़ेगा खुद एफर्ट करनी पड़ेगी तो हमें स्टूडेंट अप्रोच को थोड़ा सा चेंज करना पड़ेगा जो हमारे स्टूडेंट कहते हैं कि सब कुछ जो है ना हमें घर बैठे बैठे में में हाँ, में 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 बस बिल्कुल एक्सट्रीमली इम्पोर्टेंट एंड दिस इज समिंग विच द स्टूडेंट मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट it's not the responsibility of the university to make students learn mm. it's the responsibility of the university to make students learn how to learn mm. so if uh, you can make them a good learner because uh, it's a fact that whatever uh, in fact most of the things what they would study at times by the time you'll graduate would not be even relevant to the market mm, that you'll be serving in mm. uh, but then if you have made them good learners then they will be able to adopt to that environment in a much better way mm. so uh 
when Osman says that we have a bit of a kheer, that kind of expectation at the end of the student push has probably increased. But we need to make them realize that if they become a good learner, so Kalko, they don't have to rely totally on the teachers. Mm. And this is what we have, because Osman has experience of uh, studying in a UK university and even teaching there. I also did my master's from there. Mm -hmm. So this was one of the basic difference which we saw. And the teachers were mostly very easily available. Uh. You could just straight away walk into their office. We had to take an appointment at least a week in advance. Hmm. The teachers are not easily available. So if there is an assignment they have given you, you are totally at your own. Hmm. And uh, everybody would be making an attempt uh, from their perspective. Most of them would fail. Some would do well. But then there would be another assignment. And then you will learn from experience how to learn. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, so uh, there was no concept of spoon feeding, which at least I saw there. But I always wonder if we can replicate the same model in Pakistan, because I think if we leave anything uh, uh, on students, we maybe there may be a complaint against you that the <laughs> yeah. teacher is not teaching everything what is to become. But uh, ultimately, I think with passage of time, this realization would be there. There are always good students who understand mm -hmm. the value of it. Mm -hmm. At times, there are some students who may be even ahead of you in terms uh, of their knowledge on a particular topic, which is good to see. But uh, perhaps there is a bigger lot of those who unfortunately are expecting that they'll be taught each and everything, and uh, then they have to reproduce that knowledge. But that's why those developed countries are mostly going because they are actually producing the job creators, not the job seekers. Hmm. So, this is a very good thing. So, where did you go to study and where did you go to study? Because there were a lot of activities. There were a lot of extracurricular activities. So, were you guys engaged in some activities, extracurricular? We probably need a separate program for that. Because let's talk about this. It's a fact. Bahia has been known for its co-curricular activities, and this is something which gives us an edge over so many other education institutions. I totally agree, sir, with you. Because मैंने बहिरिया ने हमें बहुत क्योंकि education तो आ जाती है. क्योंकि जो हम करते थे events host करते थे SRC के through, जो हम lumps जाते थे, GK जाते थे. It actually made a difference. और अब हम जाके way back देखते हैं कि हम student होके loves में present करें, stage पे करोगे speech देने, it used to really feel so happy and used to feel really good about it. तो बहरिया ने I know बहुत opportunities दी। I was a part of hockey team जो five times हम champion रहे। Oh wow। और extra curricular activities की रात में debates में तो वो बहरिया ने तो वो कुछ उसमें जो है ना role अदा की है। और उसमें उसमें आती है आपको help भी करते हैं। Internationally तो extra curricular को वो बहुत एक उनका special person जो है कि आपने पढ के अलावा क्या किए नॉट जस्ट बीइंग द बुक वर्म्स एब्सोल्युटली और मतलब जस्ट टू शेयर एन एग्जांपल व्हाइल आई वाज डूइंग माय सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम हेयर आई रिमेम्बर इन वन ऑफ द सेमेस्टर वी वर गिवन आई वाज गिवन द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टू ऑर्गेनाइज स्किट्स for one of the events uh, that was taking place. Mm. Now, obviously, in terms of the knowledge domain, there is no link between mm. software engineering and Bilkul. organizing these stage performances. <laughs> but uh, I was totally at my own. This task was given to me. Uh, and uh, then I had to visit um, uh, different classes. I had to interact with different people from uh. different batches to convince them to take part in this activity, and then ultimately organizing it. Uh, so that uh, kind of thing and so many of such experiences is I think what makes uh, Beria still better mm. versus so many other educational institutes and I really wish that this realization uh, can come amongst the students uh, now. I'm not saying it was very much there when we were a student but perhaps the institutes were uh, more actively involving you mm. in these activities. And I think the more this realization will be at the end of the student, that, bhai, in cheezon ka hume aage fayda hai, then they would be more pushed and inclined and interested towards uh, being part of these activities. Uh, MBA karne jab hum bahar gaye, to wahan pe one of the things that we observed was that in terms of presentation skills, we were far better than yes. so many uh, Britishers who could obviously yeah, that was their mother I language. They could give good presentations in English. Bilkul. But slide khali hai, lekin aapko bolna aate na. Those presentation skills and stage fear. Believe me, the very first presentation that I gave in Beria uh, in the very first semester, and uh, that was for one uh, for the subject business uh, English, mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't finish that presentation. So, uh, but just to share with you that how 
uh, uh, you gradually improve based on the experiences you were provided in the university. Mm. That was the very first presentation, me along with one of my friends, it was a group presentation. First two slides, uh, uh, I could say a few words and then everything went blank. So I just apologized to the <laughs> teachers, and sorry, I can't complete this. And then later on, because uh, every semester for every subject, subject they expect you to uh, and finish a project from the group. and yes. give a presentation. Uh. And so just imagine if you have done uh, five <laughs> courses, six <laughs> courses every semester for eight semesters, given so many presentations, then your confidence would be, uh, hmm. would be really high. So I could easily compare uh, the difference of my presentation skills with those who were from Britain. Uh, and in English language, they yes. were unable to give a presentation because of the lack of confidence. So, uh, I think this is what makes this university very different. I'm not sure if we have deliberately done that <laughs> and made it sort of a learning experience, but this is what is happening mm. and ultimately contributing mm -hmm. towards college. And I, I want to add the similar <laughs> story. When I went to York St. John University, so I was presenting in front of the class. Mm -hmm. So I have um, two more uh, friends with me. And I was wearing the uh, coat and properly dressed, yeah, the way we used yeah, to do in the <laughs> Barrier University. So he said, and the other basketball ke aare the, they were just in shorts and they were but when I uh, presented, so Dr. Fergal O'Connor, who is now heading uh, College of Cork uh, in Ireland, he said, you, you should be a lecturer. You are presenting very well. So that's, that's the way uh, Beria University, they have actually given us a chance uh, to present yourself in a better way. Mm. No, I'm saying that because that's the grooming polishing that we have here. Oh, good. When you start university, because or yeah, that you suit wearing, that that's the personality. But we have also our colleagues, who are the university fellows, suit me. Banda, you know, that's the you know that. Okay, this is the personality. This is the element. So, the rest of the behavior, you know, you know, you unfold. You know, 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 giving the importance to that job yes so that's yes. the main thing yeah. agar aap properly dressed hain aur aap full taiyari ke sath ja rahe hain so it means you need a job and mm. you want to be there yeah. so that's the attitude you have to chale yeah. that's nice acha to ye bataye ki jab aap socially interact karte hain when you get to know ke somebody you meet a bahrian mm. so how do you feel uh, it always feels good, good. I think, uh, especially uh, the bachelor's level friends, uh, <laughs> you, you, you can always recall those good memories of the university. And, uh, and I think uh, once you have gone through uh, a certain experience uh, from the same place, mm. uh, you sort of develop a similar uh, mindset. And so when you're interacting with people having a similar mindset, you uh, tend to enjoy more. So uh, one aspect is that you can always recall good memories. Some of the uh, good secrets we had in the <laughs> yeah. university can always be recalled and uh, cherish those moments. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it reminds us that we are still young. And then they say, man, you remember that you were there? True. These things are big. True. But being an employee of this university, uh, when you come across such friends, and uh, if they are in this <laughs> university, uh, then it, it, get, it gets tricky because uh, they probably would be <laughs> you telling yeah, you, yeah, is you <laughs> this was the spot, remember, you, you used to be there, <laughs> then that's fine. I think this is, this is the overall experience you have uh, in a university. It's not just simply about uh, book knowledge. Oh. I, uh, this is one thing I always keep on telling my students, uh, please get, uh, get a life, <laughs> uh, you need to uh, get good GPAs. Uh, for mm, me, uh, mm. as long as you're above three, that's good enough. Mm. But apart from that, uh, live your life. Mm. Or mm. Uh, this experience, or in fact, this opportunity you have, uh, you won't have it once you are in your practical life. Uh. So, uh, so do whatever you feel like doing uh, within certain uh, norms, obviously, which are of that place. But try to make the most of it. Cool. So, do you have any favorite spots here where you get more than you get in the university? In front of new campus. Cafeteria. Now is the time when you take a break. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think uh, though for the last couple of years, it's my office. <laughs> That's <laughs> my <laughs> favorite spot. You have a different but, yeah. image. Like but when you I were a student, where did you get more than you get? 
हम हम लोग हर जगह पाए जाते थे उस्मान जहाँ पे रोशनी होती थी जहाँ पे रोशनी हो लेकिन आई थिंक इन माय टाइम्स किस दिस न्यू बेंडरिंग दिस इट्स नॉट न्यू एनीमोर कार्ड एनसी कैंपस किस वी हैड दैट इन माय लास्ट सेमेस्टर किस 2005 व्हेन आई वाज इन द लास्ट सेमेस्टर व्हेन दैट बिल्डिंग वाज रेडी सो फॉर मी इट ओनली यूज्ड टू बी दैट ओल्ड कैंपस बिल्डिंग अभी हमने उनको नए नाम दे दिए एंड इट्स वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट आई स्टिल डोंट नो द नेम्स बीइंग एन इंप्लॉय आई शुड बट आई स्टिल डोंट रिमेंबर द नेम्स सो बट द ओल्ड कैंपस एंड आई एम श्योर ऑल द एलुमनाई विल बी एबल टू रिलेट टू व्हिच कैंपस आई एम रेफरिंग टू दैट वाज ओनली प्लेस वी हैड और ये थी एंड द ऑडिटोरियम बिल्डिंग एंड आई थिंक द कॉरिडोर आउटसाइड द ऑडिटोरियम दैट वाज अ वेरी कॉमन स्पॉट वेयर वी विल बी स्पेंडिंग मोस्ट ऑफ आवर टाइम एंड ऑडिटोरियम इटसेल्फ एज़ वेल ये ये वाला लॉन हां और अच्छी बात अब सही कह रहे हैं जो नाम थे ना जो ओल्ड एनसी और एक्सी वो ज्यादा मजे का था अब सही कह रहे हैं जो नए आए ना नाम वो हम समझ कोई पति ने कौन से ब्लॉक है मैं भी आई थी देखने के लिए तो मैंने कहा वो बेहतरिया वही अच्छा था सिंपल सा था सादे से नाम थे टुक मी अ ईयर आई एम शो टू रिमेंबर कि ये जिस बिल्डिंग में मैं बैठता हूं वो काइज ब्लॉक है सो आई नो अच्छा बट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में आई थिंक वो भी बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम यू हैव टू डेवलप ट्रू अच्छा सो बहुत गपशप हो गए सो इट्स टाइम टू हैव सम ब्रेक एंड देन वील बी बैक आफ्टर शॉर्ट कमर्शियल ब्रेक थैंक यू Welcome back, and since we are we are having an amazing conversation with these two lovely people, so over to them. Now, you tell us what is your good memory with this university. Look, <laughs> Usman has put his head down and said, "I will tell you which one." Which one? So, it's not possible. I think there are many good memories. Many good memories. Or, but good memories from the learning perspective, so maybe you have focused on that. But generally, otherwise, hmm. something we can relate to. Uh, मैं आज जस्ट हाईलाइट वन एक्सपीरियंस इन फैक्ट समथिंग दैट वी डेड आपसे जैसे मैंने कहा कि शरारती थोड़े से थे ज़्यादा नहीं थे बट इन बैरिया भी केम अक्रॉस कपल ऑफ टीचर्स हु वर बिट स्ट्रिक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सर्टेन रिक्वायरमेंट्स तो हमारे एक ऐसे ही उस्ताद थे और मतलब ही यूज टू पुट इन लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट टू टीचर्स और अपनी तरफ से पूरी कोशिश करके जितना अच्छा पढ़ा सकते थे वो पढ़ाते थे और लेकिन एट टाइम्स वैन यू आर नॉट एन वेरी सीरियस मूड विच वुड बी मैनी टाइम तो वहाँ पे फिर यू विल ट्राई टू टेक सर्टन लीवरेज तो इसी तरह एक दिन आई रिमेंबर ही वॉज प्रॉब्लम पेस्ट ऑफ ऑलरेडी एट समथिंग एंड ही केम टू द क्लास एंड ही स्ट्रिक्टली सेट दिस टू एवरीबडी के आप इसे जो बुक लेके नहीं आया आई आस्क ऑल दो स्टूडेंट आई इनफैक्ट सेंड ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स आउट ऑफ द क्लास अच्छा हम पहले ही कोई पढ़ने के मूड में शायद उस टाइम नहीं थे अब जो लाए हुए थे वो छुपाना शुरू हो गया अपनी बुक कि यार पता ना चल जाए कि हम बुक लाए नहीं तो वी हैव टू सिट इन द क्लास फिर अपनी बुक मैंने किसी और को दी और अच्छा वो टीचर फिगर आउट उन्होंने बाहर उन्होंने बाहर निकाल दिया पहले थोड़ी देर के लिए सबको बदन ही ऑब्जर्व कि चलो यार तो कोई नहीं है लेकिन आइंदा जब भी आओगे तो मेक श्योर बुक लेकर आना बारह बी के एम बाहर सो दीज आर काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आई थिंक लेकिन टीचर्स वर स्टिल वेरी नाइस के they would never take anything personally or is tarah ki cheeze i think as a student you you, you always do that or uh, how do you take that as a teacher or the bhi chuke us time par senior semesters ke student to teacher ne bhi thoda khayal kiya kuch zyada nahi kaha so that is one thing i could recall उसमान आपकी कौन सी मेमोरी है बहुत सारी अब ये है कि यहाँ पे कौन सी बताई जाए एक मेमोरी ये थी कि जब मैं स्टूडेंट एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम के लिए जा रहा था तो उस टाइम मेरे ख्याल से लास्ट डे था एप्लीकेशन फाइल करने का तो मैंने एप्लीकेशन फाइल की और उसके बाद इंटरव्यूज़ हुए और सारा कुछ हुआ लेकिन आई वॉज़ नॉट श्योर कि यार मैं चला जाऊँगा तो मैं उसके बाद जब सेलेक्ट हुआ तो वो एक अच्छी मेमोरी इस वजह से थी कि वो मेरा लाइफ का टर्निंग पॉइंट था कि मैंने वहाँ जाके क्या कुछ सीखना है और रोज़ मैं इंटरनेशनल ऑफिस सर के पास आता था और सर से एडवाइस लेता था मेरे ख्याल से उस टाइम तो इरीटेट होते होंगे रोज़ आ जाता है 
आप कर <laughs> <laughs> ओ, वो भी अच्छी एक अच्छी मेमोरी थी और उसके अलावा बाकी टीचर्स हमारे बहुत अच्छे थे एक हमारे टीचर्स हुआ करते थे मुसरत खान साहब उन ही वॉज अच्छा, 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 और आ, उनकी एक जो अच्छी बात थी वो ये थी कि वो आ, कहते थे कि क्लास में ना आपने पढ़ के आना है पहले से तो जब हम क्लास से पढ़ के आते थे तो अब हर दफ़ा तो कोई नहीं पढ़ा जाता तो फिर ये होता था कि हम कोशिश ये करते थे कि हम जो है ना आखिर में ही रिस्पॉन्ड करें और पहले जो है ना और आखिर बैक बेंचर्स होते थे तो हम कहते थे तो फिर वो सबसे जब पूछ लेते थे तो हमेशा मैं जो है ना निकल ही जाता था जब सारे जवाब दे रहे होते थे तो यही कोशिश होती थी कि बस ठीक है अच्छा तो मुझे पता है कि सिंस नाउ वी आर टूवर्ड्स एंड ऑफ द शो व्हाट डू यू विल व्हाट विल यू सजेस्ट कि व्हाट इम्प्रूवमेंट्स शुड बिहेव यूनिवर्सिटी हैव एंड एनीथिंग यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर कोई सजेशन राइट आई थिंक रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द फैक्ट ऑल दीज गुड थिंग्स इन फैक्ट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट बेरियर यूनिवर्सिटी देयर इज ऑलवेज दिस रूम फॉर इंप्रूवमेंट बिल्कुल जी एंड एज अ यूनिवर्सिटी आई थिंक व्हाट वी नीड टू डू इज टू कम अप विद अ सिस्टम सम सिस्टम that can ensure that each and every student of our university uh it it it, it uh, they participate in some co-curricular activities mm. uh so far uh what we have seen is that it is by choice it's fine uh you can't force people i understand uh to get engaged in certain activities but uh when we see some other universities what they have done is that they have come up with a system in which they ensure that a student apart from the academic experience gets some flavor of co-curricular activities in fact one of the university in uh, hong kong lingnan university they have uh, got mandatory point based system in which they have defined five six dimensions uh, related to co-curricular activities and students are required to participate in relevant activities and attain points mm. and unless until they haven't got a certain number of points they can't graduate That's interesting. I know in Bahia we have come up with a uh, sort of a similar system uh but it needs to be implemented uh mm. more rigorously and uh, we need to ensure uh, by uh, students can participate in co-curricular activities by choice but at the same time it's our responsibility that we ensure that the students uh, they, they come out of their classrooms and uh, participate in sports if they want to uh, they can take part in some drama competition get some international exposure uh social activities whatever they feel like doing they must do that so so that by the time they graduate they are more wholesome personality right thank you swan what would you like to share sure. uh, uh, it's not like uh, bahia university mm. it's a higher education system of pakistan we actually need to improve a lot बिकॉज जब मैं बाहर का हायर एजुकेशन सिस्टम को देखता हूँ वहाँ की बेसिकली जिस सर ने बात की कोकरिकुलर एक्टिविटीज इट्स वन पार्ट फॉर इट आई विल टॉक अबाउट द करिकुलम डिवेलपमेंट जो बहुत ज़रूरी है क्योंकि हमारे मुल्क के अंदर नाउ इन कोविड सिचुएशन वी आर एक्चुअली अडोप्टिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टेक्नोलॉजी लेकिन जो हमारा सिलेबस है वो अभी भी नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज सेवेंटीज का है सो वी हैव टू इम्प्रूव वही मार्केटिंग का जो पुराने हम चलते हैं नहीं ठीक है वो आपके लिए बेसिक्स लेकिन बहुत सारी डेवलपमेंट आ गई है उसके अंदर हमें कॉन्टीन्यूसली फैकल्टी ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स करवाने चाहिए इंटरनेशनली जो यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं उनके साथ ताकि हमारे जो फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स हैं उनकी साथ साथ स्किल्स भी जो हैं वो डिवेलप हों जो हम मुझे लगता है कि हम लैक कर रहे हैं बींग लेक्चर इन द यू के क्योंकि वहाँ पे uh, हमें एक तो इसी तरह फैकल्टी को क्योंकि वहाँ पे भी आप ऐसे ही जाते हैं लेकिन वो आपको ऐसा ऐसा डेवलप करते हैं तो हमें हमारे जो लेक्चर हैं दे हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पोटेंशियल देखें मैं यहीं से गया हूँ बहरी यूनिवर्सिटी से गया यहीं पे लेक्चर था yeah. वहाँ पे जाके लेक्चर तो इट मीन्स वी हैव अ टैलेंट वी हैव एवरी वन इज लाइक प्रेशियस सो वी हैव टू इम्प्रूव आर करिकुलम डिवेलपमेंट and these kind of stuff which is very important or higher education ko bhi iske andar apna role play karna padega ministry of education ko bhi to taaki hum jo hain young generation ke liye ek acha environment jisme wo co curricular activities bhi aa jaye aur saath saath aapka jo curriculum hai wo bhi hum international universities ke sath match kar sake kyunki sir aapko batayenge ki jab when you are um, uh, going to sign out a memorandum of uh, memorandum of understanding with the international universities the main thing they will ask 
योर लर्निंग आउटकम्स कि आप यहाँ क्या पढ़ाते हैं hmm. और क्या वो लर्निंग आउटकम्स उनसे मैच कर रहा है या नहीं कर रहा तो ये चीज़ें जिनके ऊपर हमें वो, वो फोकस करना पड़ेगा राइट अच्छा थैंक यू सो मच सो नाउ वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट मैं से वुड लाइक टू गिव टू आर स्टूडेंट्स uh to our students uh, what uh, my advice would be something that we have already sort of reflected upon uh, and talked about during um, earlier as well uh try to try to come out of the shackle of just simply attaining good grades <laughs> and uh, getting the degree uh that's a very narrow or i would say a myopic thought hmm. uh which any student would have they can uh i think uh, by the uh, when we graduate then we uh, are able to sort of understand the value of so many learning opportunities we had in any educational institute but then it's too late hmm. so make the most of your time in any university in maria if you're studying here because uh, uh, please do remember that you're paying for all of it <laughs> not just simply those 3 hours of mm. uh, lecture of any particular subject you're paying for all these support facilities which are there uh, the co curricular activities that are supposed to or should take place in any university if you're paying for it uh, it's just like kabhi i don't know if you would ever do that you would go to a restaurant and order food उसमें से सिर्फ मेन कोर्स खा लिया डिजर्ट वगैरह और बाकी चीजें आप उनको टच भी नहीं करेंगे सो make mm, the most of this time example, and uh, try to uh, get involved in these co-curricular activities mm. maintain a good gpa that's fine but i've seen people who were gold medalists exceptional gpas unable to find jobs mm. in the market and at the same time students with an average gpa but good soft skills uh, and based on those skills which they gained uh, by getting engaged uh, and involved in these co curricular activities they were able to find jobs uh, very easily so uh, get good grades that's fine but think beyond that thank you right thank you ji usman your yeah, message yoga life is very short to aap jo hain jis tarah sir ne kaha ki apni opportunities ko grasp kare jo bhi aapki life mein opportunity aati hai aur dusra invest on yourself hmm. it's not like money you, you have to invest on say like time hai aapka wo aapne dena hai har cheez ko dena hai so if you will not invest on yourself nobody will invest on you so aap uh, make most of it aur jitni opportunities aapki life mein aaye hain usko dekhein aur apni opportunity cost ko dekhein the best alternative you have for gone agar aap koi degree choose kar rahe hain to aap ye dekhein ki aap kaun si degree chhod rahe hain aap आया यही आपका डेस्टिनेशन है यही आपकी गोल है क्योंकि हमारी लाइफ में ना गोल सेट करने पड़ते हैं शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स आपने सेट किए फिर लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स सेट किए तो वो बहुत ज़रूरी है कि आपके जो है आपको पता हो कि आपकी लास्ट जो डेस्टिनेशन है वो क्या होगी तो ये बहुत ज़रूरी है ठीक है अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच इट वॉज अमेजिंग टू हैव यू ऑन आर शो वी हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम अ लवली कॉन्वर्जेशन बिकॉज आई नो इट्स ऑलवेज यू ऑलवेज फील गुड टू बी बैक टू बहरिया सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस शो एंड वी बी बैक विद सम मोर स्टोरीज मोर अलमनाइज थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर अल्लाह